In this video tutorial, I will explain how to build native mobile applications in AwareIM using the Monica technology. In order to watch this video tutorial, you need to watch the tutorial about building native mobile applications using PhoneGap first, as it explains the general principles of creating native mobile applications in AwareIM. Unfortunately, the future of the PhoneGap technology remains unclear. It is currently in the maintenance mode and it is not known whether Adobe is going to support and enhance the platform. From April 2020, Apple no longer accepts iOS applications built using the PhoneGap technology, as it uses an outdated rendering framework, UI WebView, and Apple requires that applications use a more secure framework, WK WebView. This framework is not currently supported by PhoneGap, and it is unknown whether it will be supported in the future. So developers who need to build iOS applications have to use some other technology, such as Monica or Ionic. In this video tutorial, I will explain how to build iOS and Android applications using the Monica technology. The latest version of AwareIM is capable of producing a zip file not only for PhoneGap, but also for Monica. This is specified in this dialog here. When you select the Monica format, the resulting zip file can be directly imported into a Monica project. Let me show you how you can do it. Let's create the zip file first. So now that the zip file has been created, we need to import it into Monica. First of all, you need to open an account with Monica and then launch the Monica dashboard where you can see the list of your projects. We will click the import button and then select the Upload Project Package button and then choose our zip file. Give the name to the project and import it. So now we can see that the new project appeared in the list of our projects and we can open it in the Monica IDE. First of all, let's make sure that the right version of iOS is selected. We only need to do it once. So we select the Build, Build Environment Settings from the menu and select iOS 5.1.1. Next, let's make sure that WK WebView Engine is selected for iOS. We also have to do it only once. We select the Configure, App Settings for iOS menu button, and then scroll down to the WebView Engine setting. Then we change the WebView Engine to WK WebView. This is very important. Another thing that we have to do is set up iOS Certificate and Provisional Profile. We can do it if we select the Configure Build Settings for iOS menu item. Here I already have Certificate registered for Monica. In order to generate Certificates and Provisional Profile, you need to sign up for the Apple Developer Program 
and, genera and generate certificate and provisional profiles there. Then import them from this screen here. The full details of this process are explained in the Monica documentation here. So you just follow all the steps described in this documentation. We can see the files that the project consists of in the tree on the left. There are two files in your project that are very important. index.html and config XML. The former defines the first HTML page that will be displayed when the application runs, and the latter contains all configuration options of the build. We can open these files in the IDE and modify them to customize the look and feel of the first page and the build configuration. This is the index.html file and this is the config XML. You may also want to set application icons for Android or iOS. If you don't, default icons will be used. We can do it here. Or for Android, we can do it here. Now we can perform a build either for iOS or Android by selecting the build menu and then build app for Android or build app for iOS. After the build is completed, Monica will provide the APK or IPA files that can be installed on an Android or an iPhone respectively.